up and you're welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at one of the new Spider-Man sets. This Spider-Man set is a newer one and it is Spider-Man and Friends. I'm just going to remove the figures for a second so we can get a look at the build. I didn't mean to drop Spider-Gwen there. Um, but moving on to the builds, we do have a little Spider-Car there. Um, if I just move everything else out of the way, the floor is very cramped because I have a lot of Lego around me to review. So if we look at the Spider-Car first, it does have some uh, arm things which can... You can position it up and down to make it look like it's scuttling like a spider. It is a junior set, so there is no stickers. It is all printing here. See some nice eyes here, nice Spider-Man logo. Also, we do have a lot of bigger parts here. Um, because, obviously, it's a junior set, so there is a lot of bigger parts. Looks very cool. I do like this little bike. It does have enough room for one minifigure. It's like a little seat there. Uh, and it rolls pretty well. Moving on to the next build of the set, which is... This one, this is sort of Doc Ox, uh, Olivia Octavius' little walker here, um, does have a printed panel there to, like, hunt Spider-Man and stuff, can stand up with, can fit one minifigure in there, has some laser beams coming off it, uh, the legs don't move forward, they only move side to side, and they do have two points of articulation, one at the base of the foot and one at the top of the leg, there you go, so you can sort of have it in, like, cool positions, but I've chosen to have it. It's this one. It's just the basic one. Uh, and moving on to the main build of the set, which is the uh, sort of office, the little uh, experimentation point. We have two prints up here with some uh, octopus arms shooting electricity, and a little uh, spider in captivity sort of information there. Looks like it has a health bar which is going down, or it's getting angry, uh, or it's almost complete. Uh, it's got a little life line there, uh, and there it is. The spider on the inside can be taken out if you open the back and just pop him out. And if you do, he does have some eye printing there. He does look very cute. I'm not sure if it's a little spider drone or if it's the spider that actually bit Spider-Man. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, but it does also come with this claw arm, which can be posed in a lot of different ways. Um, as as uh, Technique point there, technique point there, and a technique point there. So there's three points on the actual arm, and then the claws can be clamped shut because they are on like pin connections as well. Um, overall, a really cool play set uh, for because it is a four plus set. There's nothing too special about it, other than the figures look very cool, uh, and uh, there's a lot of cool uh, prints there. Um, overall, really cool sets, and I do like it. This one was the most expensive Spider-Man set I got uh, for this sort of wave. Uh, because I had all the figures by then. Uh, moving on to this one here, which is Spider-Man, who comes in three of the Spider-Man and Friends sets. It does look like uh, the Amazing Spider-Man's mask, or Spider-Man from the Spectacular Spider-Man, the TV show. Um, looks pretty cool. I do like this Spider-Man. He does have some nice torso printing. It looks very, like, cartoony and, like, cute. Uh, yep, looks very cool. Uh, has the ugly Spider-Man symbol on the back, as we had a conversation about yesterday. Uh, well, me and my friends did. Uh, that look is, like, the ugliest one. But, overall, a really cool Spider-Man. A nice blue mid-legs as well. Uh, all these characters do have mid-legs, which is very cool. Because um, it means we get a lot more mid-legs and more unique colours. So, moving on from that, we do have the bad guy in the set, which is Olivia Octavius, who does have two head prints and a nice new hair mold. I lied, she only has one, I thought she had two. She has a pretty happy one, like her experiment's going well. Nice torso printing there, some little rubber arms on her back. Nice new hair printing, which looks pretty cool. Um, I do like that hair, I might have to buy more of that from Bricks and Pieces, because it just looks very cool. Uh, she does have some back torso printing, but to see that, you have to take off her octopus arms. And there you go. It isn't the best back torso printing, it's pretty basic, but still does continue from the front with the belt and the sort of uh, shoulder pad, I do believe. I don't know what else to call it, some form of shoulder pad. Um, but there you go. Uh, that's Olivia Octavius, uh, because it is the female Doc Ock. Moving on to Spider Gwen, which has a new torso print and new leg print, new head print as well, because it has some shadow at the top there. Still using the old hood piece, do wish it went to the new one. 
Uh, nice back torso printing with some blue. We have purple mid legs for the first time as well, which is very exciting. We also have yellow mid legs for the first time, I do believe. Um, all this is very exciting. I do like this figure. This is one of the best figures of this sort of Spider Man wave. Uh, we do also have a pink Spider Man rope with a big sort of capture thing here. Uh, which does come in every set in different colours. We have a white one, a red one, and a pink one. The pink one is obviously for Spider-Gwen, the red one is for Miles Morales, and the white one is for Spider-Man himself. But, obviously, this set comes with the pink one. Uh, and yeah, this set is very cool. There is no arm printing on any of the figures, but we don't need arm printing where we have some cute little uh, torso printing and head printing. I don't know, they just look really cute. I just like them. They're, they're just really cool. Um, but other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this YouTube video. See you all next one. Have a nice day and goodbye. Stay home. Let's just